Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to Gems from the Quran. In this episode, we will talk about a wonderful chapter, and this also a chapter that people loves it, recites it, and also they read it throughout the day. And this chapter is Surat An-Nas, the chapter of people. So before entering to this chapter, brief information about this chapter. This chapter is a Madani chapter. It was revealed after the Hijrah of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it contained six verses. And this is also linked with the previous episode, which was about Surat Al-Falaq. So Surat Al-Falaq and Surat Al-Nas, they are simultaneously in every single place. So some people, when they recite the Quran in the prayer, they try to pray the first rak'ah, the first unit, and they recite Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq, for example. And the second rak'ah, they recite Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas. So always they recite these two things. Not only that, these two chapters, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas, the chapter of Falaq and the chapter of Nas, these are two most important chapters in a Muslim's life. Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that if you read the Athkar al Sabah or Athkar al Masa, the morning Athkar and the evening Athkar, Athkar means the remembrance of Allah Almighty. So you remember Allah Almighty in the morning, and there are certain ayat and certain dua that you read in the morning and the evening. And within these dua and chapters of the Quran, it is Qul A'udhu bi Rabbil Falaq, the chapter of Falaq, and Qul A'udhu bi Rabbil Nas, the chapter of and Nas. It says also, even about the previous chapter, the previous uh, episode that we spoke about, the chapter of Al-Falaq and Nas, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he got affected by sihr, he got affected by magic. And one of the Yahudi, one of the Jews, and he was a hypocrite, he made magic on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And as we mentioned in the previous episode, that he made knots and he blew on these knots and he took one of the hair of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, one of his hair in his beard, he took it and then he started making sihr and he started making magic on him, peace be upon him. So he got affected, but Jibreel alayhi salam came and he started giving him and doing for him ruqya. Ruqya means trying to read Quran and he was reading Quran by himself and Jibreel alayhi salam was reading Quran for him until Allah Almighty cured Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So the magic is reality. The magicians are real. The effect of the magic is real. And also the cure from the magic is also real and is also exist. But people do not think about the treatment. The treatment is there in the Quran. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to read Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas on himself. He used to read Qul Hu Allahu Ahad and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas on Hassan and Hussein, his two grandchildren. He used to protect them in the morning and in the evening. He, he used to do it by himself. This is a protection from Allah Almighty when you read the athkar of the morning, the dua and the supplication of the morning and supplication of the evening, when you will do that, you are protecting yourself. It will not take more than a minute or a two if you recite three times the chapter of Al-Falaq and three times chapter of An-Nas in the morning and in the evening. But the benefit of it that you will be in a complete protection from Allah Almighty. No jinn, no demon, no magic, no magician, nothing can affect you. Why? Because you are in that bowl that Allah Almighty kept you in. You will not be able to see that bowl that you know you are into something, but Allah Almighty is protecting you. And this is the benefit of these two great surah, these two great chapters from the Quran, Al-Falaq and Al-Nas. So we have to, we have to read it on daily basis 
to ourselves, to our spouses, to our children, in order to get the protection from Allah Almighty. Still, we have more to say, but after the break, so stay with us. Dear viewers, welcome back. So, I was talking about the virtues and the benefit of Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas. By reading them morning and evening, you will be protected from the hell, uh, you will be protected from the magic, you will be protected from the magician, you will be protected from the demons, from the devils, from the jinns, from the ghost and bad spirit. So imagine all this is happening in order or as you just read these two chapters and in order for that or the result of that is you will be protected by Allah's will. Not only that, the evil people who is having the evil eye, who is completely burning from inside because Allah Almighty blessed you either with a good house or a good job or a wife or a husband or a children or whatsoever or a car or something that you know Allah Almighty is, is bestowing His mercy upon you and these people are not liking and they are having this envy. How you will stop that envy? You cannot go to every single person and you will say, don't envy me, remember Allah, say MashaAllah, say this and say that and say Tabarakallah. They will not do that. So how you will protect yourself and you don't have to go to every single individual person, you have to hold upon these two things. Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, the chapter of Al-Falaq, the chapter of Al-Nas. This will protect you, insha'Allah ta'ala, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we will start the chapter. Allah Almighty said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Then Allah Almighty said here again, Qul, say. He is telling who? He is telling to Muhammad, peace be upon him, and to every one of us. Say what? قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ Say, I seek refuge in Allah, the Lord of the mankind. In the first chapter, Allah Almighty mentioned Rabb, بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ And Rabb means Lord. So he's talking about his Lordness. So Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the first chapter. Then the second chapter, Allah Almighty said about himself, Malik nas He is the king of all people. So the chapter number one, or the chapter in the first ayah, in the first verse of the same chapter, Allah Almighty said about himself, Rabbin nas The second ayah, he said about himself, Malik nas so the Lordship of Allah Almighty is there and then the Kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there and then the third ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ilahin Nas The God of the mankind So Allah mentioned Ar-Rububiyyah and Allah also mentioned about his Malik that he is the Malik and Allah Almighty also mentioned about his Uluhiyya so Rububiyyah and also about that he is Malik and Uluhiyya. Three things are mentioned in three different verses from the Quran. It means that he is the Rabb of everything. He is the Lord of everything. He is Malik. Malik means kings and also Malik means from the Malik, the one who owns everything. So he is not only the Lord of everything, he is the Lord of everything and he owns everything, the heaven and the earth and everything, it's under him. He is the Malik. And after that, Allah Almighty made it very clear. Ilahin nas. So me, you, every one of us, we have to worship Allah. Ilah, the one who deserves to be worshipped. Maybe in some cases, the owner, you don't worship him, but you respect the owner. The lord of a place or a company or a something or a, a lord of a single, uh, some areas or lord of some people, you respect him, but you don't worship him. But Allah Almighty said about himself that he is the lord of people. He is the, lord, he is the malik, he is the king and malik of all the people and he is Ilahin Nas, he is the God of those people, this God who deserves the worship. 
and we didn't finish yet this wonderful chapter, but the time is up. But inshallah ta'ala, we will continue in the next episode. So stay tuned, take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.